I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. Saw a tumble for the price for oil today. Crude futures fell sharply despite OPEC extending production cuts. They've had them in place now since 2017, and the cartel over the weekend announced that they're going to go another nine months for trying to keep production values out of the Middle East relatively low. It is being, however, offset by record-breaking U.S. production and the prospects for a slowing global economy, which might uh, dampen demand for oil. We're seeing weakening manufacturing stats out of the U.S., China, the Eurozone, even here in Canada. And that could lower demand for oil and have the price in a bit of a tailspin today. Now, stock markets have started the second half of the year with some records on Wall Street and a good start to the uh, Toronto stock market today as well as investors are in a buoyant mood following the G20 summit, which wrapped up on Saturday and the U.S. and China not ratcheting up any more tariffs against one another, at least not in the short term as negotiations on a trade deal continue. The Trump administration, though, however, is moving forward with more tariffs on Eurozone auto exports. Didn't seem to dampen things off too, too much on the market. Markets today, we saw more records specifically for the S&P 500 in the States. Flag flap for Nike. The shoe company has pulled a new line of sneakers emblazoned in the U.S. flag that were supposed to come out for the July 4th holiday. The problem? Well, former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who is now an endorser for Nike, uh, complained, said that the uh, shoe had the so-called Betsy Ross flag dating back to 1776, and that was an era for slavery. And that uh, did not go over well with many Nike customers, so Nike has pulled it. The flip side, Arizona's governor has told the legislature of the state to pull funding for Nike's new factory, which is being built near Phoenix. Uh, says that they're not impressed with how Nike responds to controversies. Nike share price down just slightly in today's trade. Previously, any type of controversy has actually led to an increase in sales for the shoe company. Southwest Airlines, the biggest user of the 737 MAX Boeing planes, of course those planes grounded, put out another update to uh, well, passengers and the aviation community today, saying the expectation is those planes won't be back in the sky before October 1st at the earliest. This follows the discovery of a second software issue that Boeing has to fix and the recertification process being moved forward and some think that plane won't be back in service before next year. And just in time for the busiest week on the roads in the United States, the July 4th holiday comes with all sorts of road travel. Twelve U.S. states have raised gas taxes, the biggest in Illinois, where gas went up 19 cents per gallon. In California, it's above 3.75 per gallon, more than a dollar above other U.S. states on average. The problem? Well, for the uh, states, less revenue from gas taxes because Americans are driving fuel-efficient vehicles. They're not filling up as often. Less revenue coming into the states for infrastructure. So they're hiking taxes as an offset. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.